Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a wood project that I'm going to show you that I'm doing. Before I get to the project, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so you get notified when I post more videos. Like the video, give me some thumbs up and comment and tell me what you think about the project when you see what I'm going to do. So what this is, is my daughter is a huge plant enthusiast. And I was looking for something for her for Christmas and I found some propagation stations on Etsy and they were gorgeous, beautiful propagation stations made using wood, but they were expensive. And I thought, well, we can do that because my um, father-in-law has a sawmill and my husband and father-in-law work, I mean, do a lot of work with a lot of woodwork. So my husband, I talked to my husband about it. And he found a piece of black walnut, that's what this is, that he had. And then a piece of soft, spi uh, soft pine that he had. And he took them to the sawmill and he planed them. And he used drill bit to drill the holes in them. And I ordered these tubes from Amazon to fit in here. So that she could put her plants in here. She's got a lot of plants right now that she's propagating. But they're in cups. So, I think, I hope that she will enjoy this and she'll be happy with this gift. But I got this, uh, these in a pack of 18 on Amazon. I'll put a link to these in the description in case there's anyone you know that you think might like uh, something like this. Or even these tubes can be used uh, to hold glitter or bath salts or just multiple different things. So, I'll put the link to the those in the description. But with the wood... Like I said, this is black walnut, and I'm so excited to stain this because I'm using fast drying polyurethane clear gloss, <clears throat> and I got a brush from the Dollar Tree because I don't plan on keeping this brush after I do this. And the reason I'm using the clear gloss is because when I start polyurethane in this, it's going to bring out the beautiful wood grain from the black walnut. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm excited about this. Now the soft pine, I'm not going to stain it. Because I want to leave it her to decide if she wants it clear gloss or if she would want to stain it like a Jacobean or a weather gray. So I'm going to leave that up to her and we can stain it after she opens it for Christmas. But this one, the black walnut, is just so pretty in the wood grain. I've got gloves so I don't get my fingerprints on this before I stain it. The oils from my fingers. But uh, the grain on this wood, one thing about marrying someone whose family is into woodwork is... I have come to love the beauty of wood. So, but the wood grain is so beautiful. And when I stain this, oh, it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. I have my respirator mask also so that I don't breathe in the fumes from the polyurethane because I'm in my small craft room. And polyurethane, I've used a lot of polyurethane. My husband built our home and it is wood and we've stained walls. So I've done a lot of staining with polyurethane. And it usually gives me a headache, the smell. So I'm using my respirator. So I would advise that to anyone uh, who plans on polyurethaneing anything. But I'm going to put my mask on. And then I'm going to get started on this. And let you watch as I polyurethane the grain. Just the beauty of it coming out. And I'll put a link to my mask in the comments. I got it on Amazon. It's a Nasum, Nasum mask. I have this on my Lazy Susan so that it will be easy for me to turn it around to get different the different angles of the block of wood.
I had to take it off my Lazy Susan and put it on a toucan something to prop it up so that the sides aren't touching anything so that I can go on ahead and stain this because I've already got the top on that one side and I can't flip it over on the one side because it's wet. So I had to prop it up. But um, you don't need much of this to put on that and where it's warm in our home, it should just take a few hours to dry. And I don't think I'm gonna be doing a second coat. I don't think it'll need it, but I will wait a, a couple days to wrap it because you know, the smell from the polyurethane, I wanna let that air out some. But now I'm gonna stain this uh, second side. Maybe tomorrow I'll come back and stain it after the top and the sides are dry. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for now I'm gonna I will let this dry and I will come back after it's dry and I will give you a close-up and show you the gorgeous wood grain and what it looks like so I'll be back here's the finished propagation station I want to make a correction this is walnut not black walnut I did decide to do two coats of polyurethane because I wanted to make it a glossy finish and I'm so happy with the way it turned out look at that wood grain it's just so gorgeous. I love it. I hope she's happy with it. If you have any questions about polyurethane or anything that I shared in the video, please leave the question in the comments below. I will leave any links that I have to anything I used in the video in the description below. I'll leave links to my other social media sites below so you can check those out and follow me on those sites. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I post more videos. We'll be posting a second video showing how I stain and seal the pine block that we made as a propagation station for my daughter. So keep an eye out for that. Until next time, bye everyone. Is that for propagation? Yes. <laughs> We made those. You made them? Mm-hmm. That's why I had the door shut for three days because I polyurethaned them and stained them and stuff. That's pretty. That's walnut. Oh, it's heavy. I got the vials from Amazon and then we made the blocks. Those are pretty. I had that laying out there in the garage in front of you for ever. <laughs> All right, now tell me what each of these plants are. Albo syngonium, silver splash, skindapsis, silver sword, philodendron, albo syngonium, philodendron, grazilei, and philodendron, silver sword.